Hello, and thank you for joining another um, session from the EMEA webcasts from our support corner uh, for Office 365. Um, today, we will be discussing the support and recovery assistant tool called SARA and how to use SARA to troubleshoot some common Outlook issues. Uh, SARA is a user-friendly tool, uh, which um, we at Microsoft have uh, in order to help both end users and administrators troubleshoot issues. So I've shared my screen um, and I'm launching the application now. And it should be starting up. Okay, and here I'm going to select that I need to troubleshoot Outlook. I'm gonna click Next. And I'm going to choose that I need help setting up my Office 365 email in Outlook, and then I'm going to click Next. And it's going to ask me if this is the effect in machine. I'm going to choose Yes and enter the email address of the affected account. So I've created a demo account for today's illustration. I'm just going to enter the email address here and then the password of the account. And then I'm like next. And here, um, the support and recovery assistant tool, Sarah, does some tests. So it verifies whether the user has the correct license, verifies whether the user's account can be accessed, uh, the permissions are correct, the password, and so on. Uh, verifies whether the user's um, backend servers are reachable and running, any auto discover checks, uh, runs also network checks, DNS and CNAME record checks. It also verifies the tenant information and details. Um, so from the user information from the Office 365 portal itself, it verifies whether the user's outlook can be reached at the backend servers. So here it's showing us the results of the checks one by one. And here it's um, running the network connectivity checks, running the checks to verify the credentials are correct, do domain registry DNS checks. And um, it's also connecting to the account information and checking whether the account is correct and also checking the server information is correct. It's a very um, user-friendly wizard as you can see and um, it gives all of the details. Okay, we're just going to give it a few minutes to verify whether the user's account is correct and the Outlook client is up to date and all of the information is correct. And this tool saves a lot of time for the administrators as you can see because end users can use it to check their accounts before contacting their administrators. Okay, now it's running some auto discover checks to make sure the um, records are all correct for that account. And here, if um, Sarah finds no profile, then Sarah offers to create a new profile for that user account. And uh, if uh, the Sarah tool can't fix the problem, then the Sarah tool would suggest that the user contact the Office 365 administrator. Okay, this is just taking a minute and troubleshooting is complete. So the readiness checks show all green. The outlook shows green as well. So it says we're ready to set up the account. I'm going to click OK. Yes, I want to set up the account. So it's going to clean up any cached information. I'm going to tell it, go ahead and perform that on the Outlook client. OK. And 
Sarah says that it has recorded a log of our Outlook problem, right? Um, and if you're willing for that to be sent to Microsoft, so I'm going to click yes. And the recovery is complete of that Outlook account, and it's going to give us the friendly wizard to set up the new profile. I'm going to go ahead and set that up through Auto, -dis Auto Discovery. And I'm going to enter the account information with the password and reconfirm the password. And then I'm going to click Next. And it's going to search for the account on the backend servers on our Office 365 servers. And that's it. Congratulations. The account is set up. And Sarah, the Support and Recovery Assistant tool, helped me do it. And I'm going to choose the profile I want the account to be set up on. And it's really easy, as you can see, the Support and Recovery Assistant tool has set up everything for me as an end user. It's going to prompt me for my credentials, so I want to make sure that I enter the correct username and password. And here it says that if I'm having an issue with my credentials to contact my administrator and here are some troubleshooting logs and trace logs that have been taken by the support and recovery assistant tool if I need to send them to my administrator so that the administrator may contact our engineers, um, our support team to assist and this is where I can find the logs to be sent to Microsoft if needed. And there it is. The Outlook client with the account is set up and it's a clean setup and it's very user friendly and easy. And I already have an email there. Thank you for joining.